see, I kind of like this lighting. It's kind of cute. Oh, why is my hair doing? I don't know. Okay, lights. All right, hi guys, welcome to this week's video. This week, I thought I would do an empties video, mainly because I've not done one for a long time, and also because I seem to have collected a few empties within the space of like the last couple of months. So I thought I would share it with you and also I'll leave them all in here and it's sort of getting quite full now so I thought I would get rid of them and um yeah I just basically wanted to get rid of the rubbish and this is what I was going to do. I was actually originally going to try and keep it until the end of 2017 but I realised that that would probably be a lot of empties so I thought I would spread them out and do a few of them when I've got like a full one of these anyway to begin with I'm going to start off with this this is clean girls skin softening and creamy body wash by Cycle glory this is by far my favorite body wash ever if I could live with only one body wash and only one brand that I could live in my life I would buy Soap and Glorious body washes they are amazing they smell really nice this one is like I don't even know what flavor it is what does it say uh, what does it say natural vanilla fruit and orchid extracts I believe it's got beautiful notes of bergamot blackberry no no not blackberry bergamot blackcurrant magnolia freesia vanilla and musk it's my favourite and it's really good because this is like a massive bottle and it lasted me a really long time as well so it lasted me like over a year or two using just this body wash because it's such a massive bottle I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this um, when I have time to go and repurchase it because it is really good another body wash or body bath soak and shower cream I have finished up is Zoella Beauty's one from her it's called Soak Opera I think this is from her like second range of stuff that came out um, so this one has got shea butter and aloe extract in it it's just really nice actually like I don't like a lot of the scents that Zoe um, brings out because they're too sweet for me However, I did like this one. This is not, a, it was a little bit sweet, but not too bad for me. Um, so yeah, I love this and it's a nice big bottle again as well. And I used to use this in both the bath and shower because you can put this in like a bath soak. So you can like either put it under boiling water in a bath and it will like give your bath a nice little scent and also like really soften your skin or you could just use it as body wash and I like that it's multi-purpose that's kind of genius we've also got another bath soak by Ted Baker London I don't recall how I even got this but I feel like I've had it in my collection a long long time it's probably from like a stocking or some sort of present a while ago um, but yeah this is what I use as like bubble bath and I thought it was wonderful it was really nice and I haven't owned a bubble bath, a bubble bath thing since <laughs> and I'm kind of missing using bubble bath but yeah this was really really good gave some quality bubbles in the usage of this but yeah yeah I loved it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I love this one next up we will talk about this this is my glam glow Poly super mud clearing treatment so this is obviously you know a mud mask I love this and you can see that it's still got a little bit in it but basically it's dried out in there it's really hard to use it now because it's sort of a little bit solidified a little bit like it's solidified within the packaging this I have to say was very expensive and it came in a box like two or three times the size so I was kind of a bit disappointed of how much was in 
one little packet however I have had a lot of uses out of this I think I've used this about 10 times and I love the results of this um, it does make my skin go a little bit red after I've used it but that is not the point I quite like how it tingles so basically I usually keep it on until the mud mask will go dried out and you can't speak um, and then I rubbish wash it off that usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes or 15 to 25 minutes it depends on how thick I put it on however it does make my skin tingle but it makes my skin feel so soft and it clears out the pores and it's just brilliant I just I just really like it okay so these kind of run out at the same time because I pretty much use them day and night like every day I ran out of the nighttime one earlier because um only because I actually started doing that earlier than my daytime routine I started doing a nighttime routine before what is it? I started doing it in the morning so that's why I use this one before but yeah these are simple um kind to skin vital vitamin day cream and night cream um I like the day cream because it has SPF 15 in it and that means you know it looks after your skin from the sun which I love because not many like products I use otherwise like primers or foundations that I wear every single day have it in there so it's kind of nice to have like a a day cream oh, I can't think of my words that can work with that yeah I don't make any sense <laughs> with that one <laughs> essentially yeah night team and day cream night team night cream and day cream uh, by simple love them they they just seem to make my skin feel so soft they help my like makeup slide on better it, I've definitely I've definitely noticed a difference wearing these I've also noticed that when I wear day creams and night creams or just day creams in general I guess um I get I seem to get less spots so I believe that's probably primers or foundation don't respond well to being put straight onto my skin so and then we have got my beloved there's a cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser in orange flower and caramel this was a limited edition a while ago it even says it on the thing right there i loved this this is like my favorite go to cleanser it's a little bit expensive so i do tend to just use like the body shop cleansing oil now because this is a little bit too expensive but I would definitely buy it if I saw an offer somewhere for sure it is nice it's got really nice flavors and yeah love that one for sure then we have got a primer that I have used all the way up this is gosh foundation primer in classic it's a velvet touch foundation primer I love this because it makes it basically gives you like a smooth velvet finish to like your skin and it makes my foundation glide on smoothly it is I love this and I have actually repurchased this um, because I loved it that much I went straight out and got a new one but next up um, we've got a few no a couple of foundations that I've used all the way up to the very end that I thought I would share with you and there should be another one in here but I think I might have thrown it out already <laughs> the other one that I have not included in this one is Rimmel, Rimmel Match Foundation which is my like favourite foundation ever I've finished a few of those before um, I didn't include that in here because I think I might have just thrown it away because I was on holiday when I ran out with it so I think I might have just left it out there and just never brought it home the other Rimmel foundation that I love to pieces is wake me up anti fatigue the wake me up anti fatigue foundation in the shade light porcelain I'm light porcelain in both of them by the way in both match foundation and wake me up um, this has also got an SPF 15 in it which again is a plus um, I find that this just really gives me like a nice little glow it's got coverage I like it's just 
yeah up there for sure and then the other foundation I have got is Miracle Match Foundation by Max Factor this was like my first uh, my, my first what do you want to call it my first try at foundations outside of my comfort zone because I've always really stuck to Rimmel foundations and sort of those sort of ones <laughs> Rimmel and uh, L'Oreal. I've stayed with those two for such a long time that this was the next one that I decided I would try out. That noise is the lid by the way. I loved the shade of this. This shade was really really good for me. It's in the colour Light, uh, Light Ivory and this shade was actually quite a good match for my skin tone you know. I found it really hard to find foundations that match me because they are usually too orange or yellow and I'm quite um I want to say cool toned is that the right word where like I prefer having like a little bit of rosiness in my foundation because that counteracts the blueness of my skin does that make sense I think it makes sense um so this is the first one that I've had in a long time that was not Rimmel or L'Oreal that matched me and yeah I actually quite like this it, it actually it says blurred nourish on the front of it and it definitely blurred my skin out like you'd put this on and it would look incredible like it definitely blurred it out a little bit and that my friends is literally everything in my current empties. The annoying thing with me doing this now is that I know I'm close to finishing a couple more products but I didn't want to include them because I haven't technically finished them yet. But there's a few hair products and another primer and some more like body washes that I nearly finished but I didn't want to share them with you because I haven't finished them yet. However this is my plan video for this week so I had to put that up and yeah I will <laughs> now leave you and I'm not trying to promote Potato Suppliers but it is a great TV show yeah I think that's everything I'm now gonna go because I'm actually really hungry so I'm gonna go make some tea and chill and watch some more Netflix I will see you guys next week as always much love like comment subscribe all that jazz and in my ending display i also put down what social media i'm on where you can find me and yeah i'm actually mostly um active on twitter and instagram these days farewell